Hello and welcome. I am KK Smith and I just want to run in here and give you five things about parenting that you should know. Whether you're starting off parenting from a nucleus of your new parent, are you young, are you older, your new parent, these five tips can help you and save you so much time in life and so much emotional baggage in life. So let's get started. The first tip I wanted to give you in the five things that every mom should know is one. Every child is different. Every child is different because let's just say you had three children and one likes broccoli, one hates broccoli, and one eats broccoli sometimes. You're going to frustrate yourself because... All these children are different and they have so many different personalities. I can honestly say all of our children, we have four children, two grown, two small, and all of them have totally different personalities. Now, when I was a young person, I had my first child at about 19 years old. And of course, uh, when we had the next one, I would think, okay, This child is going to be like this child in this area. They'll like this. They'll like to do that. They'll like to do that. But you set yourself up for failure when you think that each child is the same. Every child is different. Okay. That's the first thing. The second thing is discipline must be created. Now, I don't know what era you come from. I was born in the 70s, but... Our discipline was nothing compared to the discipline of today's era. Um, Sometimes parents are so lackadaisical with discipline until the child has no discipline. Um, I can remember my dad coming to the school and my first grade teacher, Mrs. Abner, told him something that I did. He came to the school. He turned me upside down like a chicken and whooped me in front of the class. Now... Can you do that now? Of course not. But you have to have discipline. One day I was um, uh, dropping my daughter off to dance practice. And this particular dance practice was all day. So normally I would sit inside. But this day I was outside and I was reading the Bible. And I was searching for a passage. And the passage was on something that I was dealing with. I was dealing with something and I was searching the scriptures for a a particular passage. And God led me to this other passage, and I'll share this with you. The passage was about a great man. Um, He was a priest, and he was always leading people into doing right, always encouraging people, always administering um, his wisdom to people, but he did not have the same perspective for his own children his children were disrespectful they were having sex in the temple Uh, they disrespected God greatly and so I kept reading this chapter on and on because I had so much time and I wanted to know what happened and so the end result was that God not only punished him but he punished him for generations he punished his children and he punished him and I was like why did God punish him so I kept reading I searched commentaries and I and I have a plethora of books with me when I go anywhere to study and and, uh, Bible material so he punished him there are two perspectives because he did not control his children he didn't control his children He felt it necessary. He felt compelled to correct other people, but not his own children. That's one perspective. And the other perspective was, is that maybe he thought that they were too um, special. Uh, Maybe he thought that if he um, bothered them in his um, discipline, then it would take him further away from his ministry. It took too much time. But one thing we have to realize is that Our ministry begins at home with discipline. And no, we don't have to do like back in the day where they tied you up and and wet you up and throw some water on you and then whoop you with a switch. Because sometimes um, I was beat with three switches. Like if the one switch wasn't big enough, 
My mom would say, go back outside and get three. I'm going to plait them together. Like a braid, I'm going to braid them together. And then I'm going to whoop you behind. No, we don't have to do that. But realize that your children need discipline, whether it's a timeout, whether it's taking their electronics, whether it's no TV this week. Children need discipline, okay? That's the second thing that most every mom should know, okay? Don't take that off the table, okay? Number three. You are creating what you want to see in the future. So what do you want to see in the future? One time, my older sister, I'm the baby of three. And one time she was telling me, she said, you know, I had one child at the time, my son. Um, now he's grown, um, really grown. He's uh, 27 years old. But I was spoiling him. And I was not making him become a... I was not cultivating him towards what I wanted to see in the future. And so one day we were um, all outside watching the kids and, you know, they wanted ice cream and they wanted all this stuff. And I jump up and I say, I'm going to buy him some ice cream. I'm going to buy him this, whatever you want, whatever you want. And my sister looked at me and she said, you know, sometimes you need to make him go buy your flower, pick your flower because he was a kid um, or rub your feet or, um, Maybe you should make him, um, you know, just go make you something. And I was so defensive back then. You know, my first kid, I'm young, I'm crazy. Um, and I was like, no, he don't have to ever do nothing. That's my baby. He don't have to do nothing if I don't want him to do it. And guess what? I was actually creating something that I did not want in the future. If he would have continued on like that. So we must be careful about what are we allowing, what are we creating, what do we want to see. Now, I know some of you are going to say there are times when you could raise a child exactly how you think it should go and they turn away from it. That is true. But do you want to be on the end of I didn't even try to create? Of course not. So I would advise you to pay attention to what you're creating in a child. And luckily, I will tell you that that child is very giving to this day. I decided to cultivate a generous heart in him. And not only cultivating it, um, asking him to do the thing, but letting your children see you be that bold person, that giving person, that loving person. Not just telling them to do something, but actually showing them how to do it and doing it yourself in front of them. Um, the fourth thing that I think every mom should know is to love them in spite of them. As a mother, I would love to tell you that everything is going to go perfect just because you had a baby. And the fact of the matter is that is further from the truth as anything. Okay, that is such a fallacy. Um, the fact of the matter is we are all human. And as your children get older, maybe you will see some things. Maybe you won't. But chances are, if they live in this earth, you will. Some things will fall apart. Um, some, they will disappoint you at times. They will not act exactly as you expect them to act. Because guess what? You didn't, did you? So, the clue that I could give to you as a mom is love them exactly the way they are. Um, their ups and downs, changes and turnarounds. Now, does that mean that you don't give them wisdom? Of course not. Because when they fall, we have to be there to catch them. And sometimes, some of this stuff, like if you all have a child that's, um, let's just say, drug addicted, you might have to separate yourself from that child, okay? But that does not mean that you don't love them in spite of them. You're loving them through their pain. You're loving them through their hurt. You're loving them through whatever. And sometimes, I know of very seasoned mothers that are probably older than me or maybe younger than me, they tr their child has experienced a traumatic um, season in their life, drug abuse. Maybe they're stealing from you. Maybe they're lying to you. Maybe they, you can't even live under the same roof and you have to throw them out. But that doesn't mean that you take away your love. This is just a season that actually God is working with them in. So just keep the love, okay? I didn't say that you have to take everything and be disrespected and be um, um, 
disrespected in your own home. I didn't say that. I said love them in spite of them. Okay, and the last thing I think every mom should know is do not compare your parenting to anybody else's because, you know, I've admired a lot of great people um, in life and I started this platform um, based on my own pain and my own hurt and my own ups and my own downs and being a parent for me has not been glamorous as a matter of fact I didn't never think I would have any kids I got pregnant in college and um, my dad you know he was a bit disappointed shocked all these feelings were coming towards him um, just knocking him in the face because he didn't raise me like that he didn't raise me to uh, have a fall uh, but as I grew older I gained more and more insight about parenting. I gained more insight about loving children, about really being a mom, really picking that up and walking with it. I went to a conference one time and she was saying that whatever season you find yourself in, pick it up and embrace it. Uh, whether it's hardships, whether it's triumphs, whether you're in the middle, if you're in the valley, if you're on the mountaintop, you have to pick that season up. And as a mother, it was hard for me because my mom did not raise me. Um, I was raised by my father. So I didn't have a prototype for a woman, how a woman should be, how a woman should act in parenting. How do I put this thing together? I had the tools for my father, but he was very... Um, very strict i love my dad uh, but he'll tell you he was he didn't play he was very strict so that was my prototype in parenting and i know that one size does not fit all so as i grew older i realized that that sh that prototype did not fit for me as a parent but it worked for me so i took pieces from that and I made it my own and I watched other people that I admire and I made it my own and I learned and I read books and I went to conferences and I made all of this my own and I had some great falls and I had some great triumphs and I made it my own. So never compare your style of parenting to anybody else's because that might not be your style of parents. So until next time, I'm KK Smith. These are tools for your life. Use these tools. Till next time.